folks, day three. On my way back to the training center today. Um, I don't actually know what we're gonna be working on today. Um, I do know tomorrow, being Thursday, we're doing a mock test, which is good. That's gonna give me a bit of experience and know what to expect. Um, I think today is just kind of like refining what I've learned so far and uh, putting that all into practice. So, you know, when we come to junctions and stuff, you know, he's still saying, you know, watch out for this corner, it's quite a tight one, or, um, you know, make sure that you want to be in this lane and that lane. And I need to do that myself, because on the test, you know, the examiner isn't going to... <laughs> he tell me what lane to get in, you know, or, uh, you know, where to head for. Um, but I need to decide where I need to be, where I need to position myself, my speed, you know, all that sort of thing. So, um, there's still a couple of roundabouts in Kings Lynn, um, a couple of the bigger ones, and one of them, I think I said before, excuse me, one of them is um, cover one direction, you head for the A149 West, and as you go, to be honest, the road markings aren't really that clear anyway, they could do a repainting, that doesn't help, but they, uh, on the, the lane you're supposed to be in, it says A149, there's two lanes that go across up, up this slip road, one is the A149 and one is the A49 West. Um, and on one of the road markings, the, the W actually isn't there. So I did it. I, you know, I did it fine yesterday. But you know, he's. I, I'm double checking with him. I'm saying, look, is, it, is this lane? Yeah. You know, all that kind of thing. So I need to make sure that I've got that down. Um, there's a couple of traffic light junctions as well. Um, and of course, you have to bear in mind. I don't. I've, before my training, I'd never driven around Kings Lynn, um, and that's where I take my test. So, you know, I'm starting to pick up the routes and stuff now. But, you know, when you're on your test and you're nervous and you're watching all these things, it can just go out your head. So, I need to make sure that I'm doing everything right. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of traffic light junctions, um, which they're, they're, they are similar. They're not the same, but they are similar. Um, one of them, if you're going right at this uh, at these traffic lights, one of them, you go right, you stay in the right-hand lane, and then it merges into one lane to go over a bridge. And the other one, you go around the right bend, uh, right-hand turn, and then you go into the left-hand lane. So I think I just need to like go fairly slow. Um, once I'm making my turn, then look in the lane, make sure I'm, I, need, I am where I need to be, essentially. And in the process, I'm checking my mirrors, not cutting anyone up. So it is a lot to think about, you know. It's not for the, it's not for your faint of hearted, I suppose. You know, some people say, "Ah, oh, it's easy." You know, plenty of people passing was no, no minors at all. You know, perfect run. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty nervous for for me tests and whatnot. But you know, I think after today. If the mock test goes okay tomorrow, I think that'll give me another boost in confidence. Um, the second half of yesterday was pretty good, you know, I was uh, starting to do things a bit more naturally. Um, I did feel more relaxed yesterday and I enjoyed it a lot more, um, you know, because I'm kind of getting used to the feel of, you know, the size of the truck and, you know, everywhere I need to be and how I need to take corners and all that kind of stuff. So. As I said in my recap yesterday on the way home, I think I only clipped the curb once um, and then we went round again and you know it was fine. So I need to make sure I'm definitely not clipping any curbs today, not one. Um, and yeah, just, just keep at it really. But like I say those roundabouts and those lanes are, are really playing on my mind a little bit. Um, some of these tight corners I'm I'm okay on, you know. Um, we went through town yesterday and it was quite a tight quite a tight uh, bit of Kings Lynn, it was right, right in the centre um, and they were kicking out from school as well which uh, which is fine you know but yeah some of these corners are, are pretty tight one of them you have to go up, you know, straight up a little bit as you go round um, and uh, otherwise you're not going to make the turn you, you clip the kerb I got close a few times but close is fine driving over it is not <laughs> so uh, yeah, just keep at it today. Um, I think, you know, the, I, I, I don't know, in some, some cases I wish I had a bit more time to practice. 
you know, because obviously the more the more you drive something like that, the easier it gets. And of course, you have to remember, you know, when you drive, when you first start driving, learn to drive a car, you might do one or two lessons a week for like six, six, eight weeks. You know, this is a, a essentially a four-day um, intensive course. So, you know, you, you don't have an awful lot of time to pick it up. Um, but yeah, um, I'm enjoying it, and it's uh, it's good fun. Um, just need to crack those little uh, those little things that I'm worried about nip them in the bud and uh, we'll, we'll be all right so um, what I'll do is I'll uh, recap later on on the way home let you guys know how it went on uh, there's a, a tight quarter that I'm doing today um, my trainer said that uh, he's gonna take me around that today and apparently that's quite tight um, and it's that tight that you can only really get either two cars passed or one lorry essentially it's that tight um, so it's just a case of making sure that I'm looking ahead to see what traffic is uh, is coming and see what I need to do and deal with it. So uh, yeah, it's all good. And uh, yeah, like you say, um, I'll catch up with you guys on the way home later on. So uh, I'll speak to you in a minute. Hi guys, welcome back to me going home on day three. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so today's training went really well. Um, seemed a bit more relaxed uh, again. And uh, yeah, I seem to be um, <sighs> making progress better, I suppose. Um, it's a case where, you know, when you come into a roundabout and um, you know, you're looking ahead to see if you can go straight away, you know, and getting more more confidence in doing that. Um, and also, it's all about um, the anticipation. He said, my trainer said that uh, I was better in reading the road ahead and things like that. Um, today, we met a lot more traffic. It seemed to be a little bit busier, which was good because that means I get to experience, you know, what it's like and how it could be on my test as well. Um, so that was uh, that was quite good that we, we did that. Um, did meet a lorry uh, coming around a, a very tight bend, um, which meant that I had to stop. Um, and because I didn't stop quick enough, I ended up having to go on the curb. There was no no other choice because um, it was an Arctic, and obviously the trailer cuts in, and there wasn't enough room for both of us. So I've got to watch out for that. Um, but generally, yeah, it went went really well. I actually had um, I had two trainers today. Excuse me, because my um, the normal guy that's uh, that's training me, he had to leave work a little early. So for the last 45 minutes, hour, whatever, um, I went out with the other guy. And uh, turns out it's the same guy who did my exam uh, for the Mod 4. Uh, so, um, you know, we'd already sort of met, and, you know, whatnot. <clears throat> and uh, he went out with me for the last 45 minutes. And um, to be honest, it just I just went for a drive. I mean, I didn't feel like I was, he didn't say an awful lot. He gave me directions, um, you know, where he wanted me to go. And uh, it, yeah, it was just a, a straightforward, um, relaxed drive, to be honest. Uh, didn't clip any curbs today, so <laughs> that's a bonus, so that's an improvement. Um, but yeah, he, um, you know, my, my, my actual trainer said that I'd uh, definitely made some improvement again today, and tomorrow we're gonna do a mock test. Uh, he said he's gonna do that in the morning so that we can work on the stuff that I might have, uh, you know, sort of not quite got there with. So that's really good. Um, I, I actually feel now like I could go for my test. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but um, yeah, I definitely feel in some ways that I can now go for my test because I've I've actually been through all of the the routes that um, I could get taken on while I'm, I'm doing my test and that. So uh, I've seen all the nasty bends and all the corners and there was a, a, a very small tight village that we went through and uh, it's it's a lot of those bends that really there's only enough room for one truck but you can't see they're all blind bends you know left and right blind bends just constantly um, you know park cars buildings um, things like that uh, there was a there was one point where we came up to a bus it was parked it was a bollard just behind it um, in the center of reservation and um, 
that uh, I, I was reading the road ahead. I wasn't. I, I didn't think there was any traffic coming, um, but I wasn't entirely sure. And uh, my trainer was talking about you know this bus might plan in a minute, so take your time, which is what I did. And then I ended up <clears throat> getting quite close to uh, the back of him, and I ended up stopping. Um, I don't really know why I stopped, but I did. Uh, which made things a little trickier for me to get out because I didn't give myself really that much room. It was still fine, I got around him okay, there was no dramas, but you know, in, in that, in a perfect world, I could have just gone around him, you know. But it's it's just, it's just experience, you know, I mean, if you're watching this video now um, and you're, you're about to go for your test or you, you're about to book your training or something like that, um, I mean, Go look at the video. I mean, I don't know if this video is going to be mashed together into one, my, my days of training, or whether I'm going to separate it into different videos yet. I don't know. But go and look at day one uh, versus now. Um, I did have some butterflies going in <laughs> into training this morning. Um, but to be honest, I, I did a walk around check by myself. Um, obviously, it had already been done because somebody had been out in the truck this morning. But uh, my trainer said, look, you know, um, I'll leave a... Uh, I'll, I'll give you one of the, the check sheets that we've got. Um, just go fill that out and I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, so I did that and, you know, I, I kind of just felt like it was me doing a day's work and driving around, you know. So it's um, it really feels much much calmer now. I sort of feel like I can deal with a lot more obstacles. Um, I, I, th <laughs> I think it's just, uh, just my nerves, I think. Just, you know, they creep in every so often. Um, and because it takes me about an hour and 20 minutes to get to the training center, um, you know, I'm sort of stewing over, you know, the things I've got to work on, the things I'm worried about, you know, things like that. Um, I still still went into the wrong lane today and that bloody set of traffic lights that I can't get right. Um, but I think I might have figured out a way that I can remember it because it's, I don't know if you remember, but I said that there was a set of traffic lights, two set of traffic lights that remind me of the, the same sort of thing. Um, and I tend to get in the wrong lanes on these uh, these traffic lights, but there's a, on one set of them there's a bridge just after it, and uh, you can actually see it from the junction um, or the, the lead up to it because obviously it goes goes upwards. Um, and I know that with that junction I've got to go left, so obviously the other one I stay right. So that might be a good way for me to remember exactly uh, which lane I need to be in for that. Um, and uh, that one bloody roundabout. <laughs> In Kings Lynn, that big one that goes over the, uh, the main road. I'm still still struggling with that. That's a, a horrible roundabout. As I say, the road markings are, are really crap. By the ones here, to be honest, they're just faded and rubbish. So uh, you know, I'm trying to read the road, and it's not ever so clear. And you know, it's just uh, that's good. If, if anything's going to get me now, I think it'll be that roundabout. So. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with today. I think I did really well, um, especially when with having you know sort of two different trainers and stuff. Um, again, we did uh, three reverse exercises. Again, um, did okay with those. The first couple of times, the first time I did it, I actually um, went too uh, too far over the line. Um, so that was uh, that was a bit. That's the first time I've done that. So I don't know whether that was just me being a bit over cocky. I don't know, but. Um, Subsequently, the, the next couple were fine. So, so yeah, all in all, a pretty good day today. I'm very pleased with myself. Um, hopefully, uh, it will continue tomorrow. The mock test, I'm not going to try. My trainer did say, don't dwell on the mock test. He said, you know, I'll talk you through the stuff as we go around. Um, so, essentially, it will be like a mock test. But, uh, you know, if I, if I stuff something up, it's not going to wait till we get back. So I'll find out with a pass fail, you know, that kind of thing. You know, he'll talk me through it as we, you know, once I make a mistake, he'll then say, right, you know, there you should have gone a bit wider or whatever, um, you know, and, and sort of, uh, but he did say to me, you know, don't do not dwell on the tests. I said, um, how long does the test take? It's about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. He went, yeah, I said, I oh, will, you know, I, I then said, um, we've got time to do a couple then tomorrow. And he was like, well, what I don't want to do is give you, you know, put you through a couple of more tests and you fail them, and then you start dwelling on it. Uh, he said, you know, I'd rather just work on the points that you're not sure on, you know, go back to those junctions you're not sure about, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So, but I'm, I'm absolutely fine with the, you know, the really narrow stuff. Um, we actually went through that, that little village with the blind corners. 
there was some parked cars parked on either side um, and they that was that was really tight I mean you had to literally slow right down to a crawl um, just to make sure you're not taking out anyone's wing mirrors or you know smash the car up to bits that sort of thing uh, but yeah we got through it we went through two different directions and that um, so yeah all in all it was uh, that was a good day so um, yeah very pleased very happy um, again as usual if you guys have any comments or any questions for me um, I mean I, I feel like I can give you guys a few pointers now um, now that I have some experience driving you know these uh, these lorries and stuff um, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to, uh, to answer them um, and don't forget to subscribe for more content because hopefully fingers crossed on Friday I'll get a pass and if I do then I'll be looking for some work so uh, and hopefully I'll bring you guys along for the ride so stay tuned and uh, I'll speak to you guys tomorrow when I do um, get my way for day four and that'll be the day before my test so uh, anyway speak to you guys tomorrow have a good one